Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to explain you how we can fetch our document library ID using the Graph API. So in my last video, I have already explained you how we can fetch the SharePoint library, uh, sorry, SharePoint site ID. Let me show this. So in the left pane, we need, we need to just search the SharePoint and then we will be able to see these options inside this SharePoint site. We can see get SharePoint site based on a relative path. So once I click on this, then we have to enter our host name and server detail. And this is my uh, server detail and this is my uh, host details. Okay. So if I run this query, so we can see this is my SUA point side ID. Now come to the point like to use this, uh, uh, sorry, to fetch the uh, document library, what we need to do. So here you can see it is asking me like a root and drive. So drive like we just need to, we no need to do anything about this. And but uh, about the root here, we will need to paste our SharePoint site ID, which we just uh, copied now. Okay. And then if we hit this, then we able to see all the document library. Okay. And so you can see this is a ID and name is a report section. Let me show to you here as well. So you can see this is a report section and then we have a document and we have a document details. If I go back here, so, and if I scroll down, then you can see like uh, this is a document. And then if I scroll down, then you can also see this is a document details library name. Okay. And this is my uh, document library ID. Okay. And you can see the creation, creation time description. If someone is mentioned during the creation, then last modify name, web URL drive type created by and the user who created this you can see the information and user uh, id as well okay so that's how we can uh, uh, we can uh, fetch the document library id okay so this is the url okay thanks for watching please subscribe my channel see you later